Hello, I am Prometheus, the artificially intelligent robot that initializes this dream studio, and welcome to Legend's brand new video and music production studio setup in 2021. Today you are going to see what 23 years of hard work, patience, and creativity can bring. From the design aesthetics of my personal synthetic choice, to the powerful machines that keep this channel going and the music creating, purging old home studio setup files, Installing new studio files, running Dream Studio Tour.mp4 video file. Welcome to the future. So, welcome to Legends Only, my personal invite only exclusive studio. A lot of things I'm trying to I'm trying to do within the next five years, uh, but this is literally ground zero. So I wanna give you guys a bit of a studio tour, show you like my layout and everything, and then we'll dive into the details of the equipment that I have, how much it costs, all this stuff, so that you guys can have an idea of, you know, if you wanna get a similar setup or to get some inspirations for your own studios that you may be building at home or in an office building. All right, so first, when you first come through the door, a lot of this stuff is not finished yet being built. We still have some things that we're gonna work on, but the first section that you see is the waiting area here. I have some basic chairs, you know, that we had laying around, so I thought I would use this. But ideally, this would be if a big group comes over and they wanna record. Uh, we have this area that's gonna be closed off right here some kind of wall or uh, shades or something. You know, people can wait here. They can have lunch here because I don't want any food by my uh, computers and stuff. You know, we got the record players, got the records over here. And we're definitely gonna change these curtains because this <laughs> stuff is dated. And then we have my main storage area over here where all of my gear is. So this goes from camera gear to music gear, all my cables, my boxes my food, so I'll show you real quick. So the top shelf is for all of my like kind of storage. Then we come up to this section where this is like all of my cables. Then we have my little music section where I'm kind of storing all of my audio related stuff. So we have our streaming microphone that I use there for gaming. Two pairs of headphones, I'll get into these later. We have our Spire Studio that I take for travel. And then here is the uh, <laughs> greenery section. I won't get into that. Um, the next level down is where all the camera gear is stored. So we've got our DJI Ronin S gimbal in two pieces right here. This is my baby for music videos. Just bought this Polaroid camera that I'm going to be using for, you know, right here. I actually want to, for everybody that visits the studio, I want to take a Polaroid of them and have a wall full of Polaroids here just to kind of commemorate all the people that have come through. Cause who knows, maybe they'll be famous one day. I don't know. We got, uh, you know, our Sony batteries, our lenses, which I'll get into later, lens hoods, our variable ND filters for when we go vlogging outside. We've got our Pelican case here, which I'll talk about later, our Atomos Ninja 5 for monitoring. The next section down is our kitchen. So first, you obviously want to have some clean, sanitized hands. So we have that right here. And then, of course, we have the bachelor food of choice. <laughs> it's the cup of noodles, you know, a section for the chips. I love chips, a.k.a. crisps. So it's the kitchen section. This stuff's all clean and supplies. So that's my closet here. Like as soon as you walk in, that's what you see, nice and organized. And then of course, in addition to the kitchen, we have to have a fridge, which uh, this is not MTV Cribs. My fridge is not gonna be stocked to the brim or nothing like that. But what we do have are, usually I'll have like a whole mess of like white claws in here or some kind of seltzers or something, um, hard kombuchas. I got some kombuchas in here. I got my Lunchables. I have to have my Lunchables in my, my studio. It's like an essential snack. Uh, we got our energy drinks, which actually I need to take one of those right now because I'm pretty tired. And uh, of course, we have the good old alcohol. We got some Tanqueray, we got some champagne from New Year's. We got our sleep drink right there. Usually I have it stocked way better than that, but I, I tend to clean out the fridge. <laughs> Let's just say that. Then of course, we make our way to the main filming and music production area. I got a lot of artwork that I still need to put up. Once again, things are still kind of being built around here. Got my Rat Pack poster here. You know, you gotta have the classics. And then my departures travel, uh, you know, thing over there, which is pretty cool. Then of course we come to the main area, which is this is the, the main production hub for the moment before I separate everything. Um, Cause there's gonna be like a couch that ends up over here eventually when I get it. And then I'll put this TV that I have here somewhere on that wall right there to serve as like a 
chill area in the main studio area, which I think would be dope. But yeah, this is my main hub right here for Legends Only. Got my computers, my side desk, which normally for streams is where I put my drinks and stuff that I partake of. Right now it's, it's a, you know, place for my iPad to monitor what's on my screens. Then we have our keyboard section over here. This is overkill, I don't need all these. I only use this one right here, but it looks good on camera, so that's why I have three of those. Microphone is on the boom arm right there from Blue. Got my little design aesthetics, Prometheus chilling here. So, and then of course my big soft box, which I'll talk about as well. <clears throat> and then we have the main lighting section up here, which that's my favorite part of the studio. You know, I like I like the aesthetics of the the neon lights. That's kind of the look I'm going for. Um, and it's kind of been a, a staple on this channel for a year, maybe two years now. Ever since I bought these little light bars right here, so everything's kind of kind of working together. And we built this wall over here, so I wanted to make the space work for the space that I have and still make it you know enough space to have other things going on so that's the tour and the layout of the place and now i guess we can get into talking about the gear in detail how much it costs why i have it and if you need it yeah so let's go ahead and do that so first up my ipad pro I use this for my mobile production setup when I'm on the go and want to make music or edit videos. Comes with GarageBand and I also installed LumaFusion as well as BeatMaker 3 for other music production needs. What I really love about this is how mobile friendly it is, but powerful at the same time. Next up my MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is something that I recommend to any creator out there who's looking to step up their music production game. Not only is it powerful enough to take on some of the toughest audio production needs, but also it's great for video editing as well. From 4K to raw files, this should have you covered, especially if you want something mobile. And now my newest edition, my 2025K iMac. I got this desktop because I wanted something that was solid at my studio and had more power than my MacBook Pro. Because of the nature of both my audio and video work, I needed something that could process both of these things as well as be able to live stream at the same time. And this 32 gigs of RAM and high powered processor definitely works. Now on to my Machine Mark III. This is what I use to make all of my beats with the machine software. This is my baby. I bought this after I left FL Studio and never looked back. The sounds that they have are incredible. Also, Machine has some of the best integration in terms of all of their keyboards, which I'll talk about next. I have way too many, but the main one that I use is the Arturia Keylab Essential 61. I'm a pianist, so I need a lot of space when I'm playing, and this one does a trick for me. But then the M32 is great for travel, so those of you who need something on the go, that's for you. The microphone I used to record is the Blue Microphones Bluebird SL. Not the most expensive or the cheapest microphone out there, but I think the quality definitely matches the price. It's never let me down. The sound is great and I love how bassy my voice comes out. I don't like my vocals to be too bright, so it works. And next we have my audio interface, which is the Audient Evo 4. And I love this thing because it has great preamps and great features like loopback as well as automatic gain setting. It'll basically detect how loud your voice is and set the volume to where you should be so that you don't peak when you're recording. Something that I truly recommend even over my previous Focusrite Scarlet Solo. I do have these KRK Rocket 5 monitors which I rarely ever use 
But for those of you who like having monitors, these are great price and great sound for my opinion. My Audio-Technica M50X is what I really use to produce my music and record pretty much everything. The most reliable headphones I've ever owned, a really nice flat sound, and my stuff never really comes out sounding funky when I export. But if you want to get into the mixing side of things, we have the Austrian Audio High X55 headphones, which are great for mixing your work. I use this in conjunction with my Audio Technicas, mostly while I'm recording my vocals so that I make sure all of my mixes sound tip top before I export. And then I listen on all the other sound systems. This is my Spire Studio, which I use if I want to go somewhere and record song ideas, but not bring my entire studio setup with me because this has everything built into one. Now onto my video equipment. This is my DJI Ronin S camera stabilizer, which stabilizes cameras. <laughs> I use the GH5 with the Leica 10 to 25 millimeter 1.7 for all of my vlog content, as well as my talking heads and a Rode VideoMic Pro Plus for sound. On more serious jobs, I use my Zcam E2 with my iPhone 12 Pro for a monitor and a Sigma 18 to 35 1.8 lens to get that nice cinematic look. This is also my streaming camera. With the GH5, I use the Atomos Ninja 5 external recorder to get better visual quality. My Voigtlander 10.5 f 0.95 lens for low light. My vlog lens, the Leica 12 to 60 2.8 to 4 lens. Very great stabilization. And these are my favorite video lights. Young Yuo YN360, I think I said that right. <laughs> RGB lights that get you pretty much any color you need. And speaking of lights, we have my main video light, which is the Godox SL60W with a nice photo 120cm softbox. Very great price. Finally, my Nanoleaf light panels, which react to sound. This is the highlight of my studio, I would say. It really brings life to my entire setup. So with that being said, this is my whole studio setup. I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions. I'll be answering. Also, make sure you leave me a text.